If you don't have an artist bio yet, then you need to stop what you're doing, drop everything. Wait, watch this video first, watch the video first, then drop everything you're doing, then work on your artist bio ASAP. What up? It's G-Tech. My name is G-Tech and I'm a hip hop artist that's been making music for about 20 years. If you're new to the channel, I provide free content to help other indie artists and market and promote their brand. All the information and knowledge that I'm providing and dropping on this channel is everything that I've learned on my own and currently applying it right now to my music and my brand. So if you enjoy the free content, please like and subscribe. It'll really help me out. Your artist bio is really important to people who are looking you up and who are interested in you. And if your bio is not updated or it is and it is not presented appropriately, this can cost you a lot of opportunities. So I was on a phone call with a DJ radio host and I was and we were prepping for my interview on the radio and I forgot to give her my bio, my artist bio. So she went quickly onto my SoundCloud while I'm on the phone and she just took the bio that I had right there. I was not completely satisfied with the bio that I had because it was not updated like it was on my other platforms like Spotify. Was not too happy with that bio but um, there's nothing I can do at that point and that's why it's so important to update your artist bio because you never know who's going to read up on it or who's going to look at it. So what do you do when you don't know how to write an artist bio because I know it's difficult to write about yourself. Well the first two sentences or the first few sentences needs to be captivating and it needs to capture the reader. So my first suggestion obviously is to state your name, um, state where you're from, your location and how many years of experience you've been making music for. You also want to quickly transition into your big accomplishments and make sure this is the highlight of your bio. Include any blog coverage, any press, any radio play, performances, who you've opened up for. You want this polished, you want this to sell as much as possible. Decorate it as fancy as, as you can and you want to boost yourself. Treat your bio like you're selling yourself because if potential um, investors or sponsorships or brand deals and people are looking you up as an artist and they read your bio they need to be sold they need to be sold and convinced that they want to do business with you now if you don't have big accomplishments then you obviously do not want to lie however the choice of words you can use can definitely make a difference and it can still make you look and it can still make yourself look accomplished so even if you have only a few performances under your belt at local bars or open mics you can say experience with performing live at different venues instead of just saying i performed at a bar you also want to include the type of artist you are and what kind of music you make because they need to know exactly what type of artist you are and they might be looking at a certain type of genre or artist. So saying you're just a hip hop artist is not good enough. You want to narrow it down and make it more specific. So maybe your genre is trap or maybe it's boom bap and subconscious rap. So the more specific the better. You also want to include your influences and who you similarly sound like. So if you say you sound like Big Sean then this might gravitate or help gravitate uh, fans of Big Sean to your music. So for those who maybe have just discovered you by accident and do not have a sense of what kind of artist you, you are, then leaving artists such as Big Sean or Kendrick Lamar, uh, J. Cole and similar artists that you sound like, it gives them a reference. So when they see these artists, they'll be like, hey, I like those artists, so maybe I'll give this artist a try. Additionally, you can also mention how you started in your music or what made you start making music. Adding a vulnerability piece to your bio is a definitely nice added touch. It makes you more human and makes you more relatable. So if you say something like, I lost my mom at the young age of 10 and she's the reason why I make music today, this might open a lot of doors for potential fans because they might relate to this specific experience. It makes reading your bio more personal and it makes yourself make look more personable. When people read about you uh, in your bio, they want to see the person you are behind your music. And once you open that door for them, they will connect with you in a different way. So I really hope that helps when you're constructing your own artist bio. If you need any help or any tips, you can always leave a comment or message me directly. I'm very active on Instagram, so you can follow me there at official G Tech. I will also leave an example of my personal bio. Um, I'll leave the, the link in the description. It'll be from my Spotify and you can just get a reference from there. So I hope you found some value in this in this video and I really 
hope that this helps you in your musical journey and if it does please like and subscribe to the channel so good luck with everything and thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next one and i'm out